welcome to Iceland. Here at one of the most iconic uh, scenic landmarks in Iceland, Golfoss, uh, or Golden Waterfall. It's actually two big drops along this river here. This is the Kvita River. Um, and I thought we would spend some time looking at this waterfall and its geology, both from above and then also from down uh, at the river's edge. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, my name's Sean Wilson, I'm a geology professor. South wind's really ripping here, so I hope you can hear me okay. I'll try to be loud over the falls and the wind itself. Um, so let's just spend a second uh, comparing and contrasting the waterfalls here. We actually have two discrete falls. This is the upper falls here. Uh, and then down here we have the lower falls. And a little bit of information on the drops here. The upper falls drops about 11 meters or 36 feet. Um, and then the lower falls down here is about 21 meters or about 70 feet. So it's a little bit bigger. If you look at these two waterfalls though, there's two, two big differences that pop up, at least in my mind. One is that the upper falls is actually a set of stairs, staircase or cascades, not one big drop, whereas the lower falls is basically one discrete drop. And we'll, in a minute here, I'll scramble down to the lower point here. Looks like with the wind, it's blowing the mist all over that area, so we'll hopefully be able to film okay. It's not too noisy. And we'll look at those rock types up close and personal. Um, and then the other big difference is the way these two waterfalls trend. This waterfall's trending in this direction. And if I sort of keep my hand there and swing around this way, you can see this waterfall's trending almost like 90 degrees or maybe 70 degrees different. Um, it's hard to get them both in at the same point here, but there's a definite difference in the way the waterfalls trend, at least as a cliff face across the riverbed there. Um, to help explain that difference a little bit, I've got a diagram here that hopefully will work with the crazy wind we've got going on over here. Okay, so let's get some rocks here. So basically here's a diagram of the river coming down um, from upstream to downstream. And the waterfall itself, the river itself, excuse me, more or less follows a fault. Uh, the references I read uh, say it's a normal fault. and It does look a little bit higher uh, on the east side. So this side's the upside of the fault. This is the downside of the fault. And what I've drawn here is the upper falls, which you can see trends across the river in this direction. That's the cascade stair step one but then the lower falls cuts at a, a much different angle to the falls here and the reason that these two falls are here the upper and lower sections are faults these are actually strike slip faults so i've drawn the arrows here so the upper falls is actually along a left lateral strike slip fault see how the movement across the fault is to the left if you look across the fault the arrow's pointing to the left and if you look over here at the lower falls, turning the camera slightly, this is a right lateral strike slip fall. So the movement as you look across the fault, in this case, is to the right. <clears throat> so that's a hopefully a pretty good uh, rendition of what's going on in an aerial view uh, with these two waterfalls because the geometries they make with respect to each other uh, is pretty interesting and something you don't typically see. The other thing going on up here, uh, and I think you can hopefully see it here on these very flat, polished rocks that are wet because it's been raining, are these have very noticeable striations. So these rocks here are very much striated in this direction, uh, more or less parallel to the river flow. So what that tells us here is that we have uh, two stories. We have the striations on these rocks here that have been sculpted and smooth by glaciers. And then we have the canyon itself. So what that tells us is that the 
the glaciers were here first that this canyon and these waterfalls have uh, been formed after the glaciers formed here so these <clears throat> the last glaciers in this area were about eight to nine thousand years ago and so this canyon must be younger than that so the glaciers scoured out um, this area but didn't make a canyon remember when glaciers make canyons they make u-shaped canyons look how narrow the gorge is below the lower falls down here that's clearly evidence of fluvial or river erosion versus glacial erosion so the glaciers passed over this landscape you can see the terrace on either side uh, here this glacier just advanced out towards the sea and then as the glaciers melted during the last interglacial period about eight nine thousand years ago the water melted the water started excavating and cutting this canyon here where the waterfall is so i'll head down and let's we'll take a minute and look at some of the rocks down there but for now this is the upper part of Golfoss here in iceland So I'm heading over towards the upper falls where we can see some of the rocks up close, but you can see the wind is just blowing the mist over there. So I'm not sure how much uh, video I'll be able to get, uh, but we'll give it a go. I also wanted to, as we're looking at the upper falls here and the lower falls over here, um, quickly show uh, a diagram I put together that show the geology here, even though we'll go look at it here in a second. So. What we have with the upper falls, the reason that it's cascading and more of a stair step type of a waterfall is that the geology here is a series of uh, thinner layers of basalt, which caps the top of the falls, makes it's a hard resistant layer of volcanic rock, um, which forms the initial drop of the upper falls. Then there's a sequence of hard and softer sedimentary rocks. So I put hard seds and soft seds and the hard sedimentary rocks again form these stair step drops the soft sedimentary rocks are actually <clears throat> undercut so as the water falls over um, that softer unit and that softer material actually gets undercut by the waterfall and then um, we reach a, a much thicker layer of basalt and that's what forms the big drop for the lower falls so just a simple diagram cross section to help explain uh, what we're going to see here so um hopefully that was somewhat helpful and let me drop something here we'll head over uh into the <laughs> mist everyone that's coming back from there is pretty soaked so <clears throat> hopefully we can uh get some good video with the camera without all the water droplets getting on the lens so let's go ahead and give it a shot Okay, we made it over here. I'm just facing away from the waterfall to keep the camera as dry as I can. But I can walk up a little higher here to show you the upper falls up close and personal. Notice the rock at my feet is the black basalt, the lava, that forms the lip, more or less, of the upper falls right through here. Uh, if we work backwards down the falls, boy, it's getting wet up here. Uh, we can see the unit that sits right underneath the basalt is this more or less conglomerate layer um, with gravels in it. Boy, I'm just getting sprayed really good here. And then a little bit of softer sandy material here. Let me work my way back down. You can see some of the conglomerate in here. Um, so the gravel sort of cemented together and then if we hopefully if the wind cooperates here and it's not we can 
tried to get a view down to the lower falls there. You can see some of the undercutting here where these softer layers below uh, are being undercut by the falls. So a little better view of the sediments here and then the big single drop on the harder lava there. So uh, try to walk out to one more point. See if the see if the wind will cooperate. You can see these poor folks here just getting like kind of whipped by the wind here. But yeah, sandstones here. Uh, and then more conglomerate-like material. Woo! And then looking back, clean the lens off here. You can see the upper lava flow again, extending across this bench where the people are standing. And then the conglomerate layer <clears throat> it sits right underneath it here and then the lower upper falls there in the background so hopefully that's a little bit helpful i'm getting pretty soaked here so i'm gonna call it good uh, but just a great view of the upper and lower falls of Gofoss here in iceland in southwestern iceland on a typical iceland day sun wind, rain, a little bit of everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me today.